Hey everybody, it's a crazy bingo show. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, so hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> Um, I've been away from the channel for about a month now, um, and in a way, it's been pretty healthy. Um, it's been good to have a little bit of a rest, because we had a very full-on early start of the year. Um, and just, what a great thing to come back to. Of course, we're back to react to the PS5 showcase. Guys, it is huge. It came out of nowhere. Everyone was like, oh my god, like, what the heck? Like, mm! and this is like, the, the nearing the middle of the year of course so everyone's ready like to get some news because obviously we have a lot of things lined up we've got the new final fantasy game coming out we got the spider-man game like told to come out in like spring of american time like at the end of the year so people are like oh are we gonna see some of that and then obviously there are lots of other games it's like are we gonna get them or like are they in production at the moment like let's spill the tea <clears throat> so uh, I'm very excited to come back at this time to react to this as you guys know I try to react to this as often as I can um, and especially for video games you guys know I love video games so this is so magical and I'm so excited to do this oh I was gonna say as well um, this month is the birthday of crazy fango reviews so thank you guys so much for um, obviously supporting the channel and also because five goddamn years we've been doing this since 2018 can you believe it um i honestly cannot believe that we've been going for that long um and you guys all as i say like i wrote a post about this on twitter and everywhere but like i want to say this again like thank you guys so much for your support it means the the world honestly and just to have this channel still you know like people supporting it and stuff and watching my content it's still such a surprise to me so thank you guys so much for the support um and yeah just remember to <laughs> like subscribe and comment if you enjoy this video um and we're gonna get straight into it we've got five minutes so let's just get prepared so yeah i thought i'd just quickly talk about my predictions as well i think um we're obviously gonna see spider-man so i think it's pretty much confirmed that that's gonna be one of the big things that we're focusing on today um i would really really like to see ghost of tsushima 2 because uh you guys know that i love that game i did a playthrough on this channel and i would love to see a second because even in history wise there's so much more story because there's a second war that happens on tsushima so it's like it makes sense, like, make another game. So that would be really cool. Um, obviously, we've got Final Fantasy. I think it's 16. I can't I can't remember the numbers, but the next one's coming out. I'm actually really excited for that. They've held back on that for a while, and that's mostly because they want to make sure it's, you know, up to quality. They don't need to do a first day patch, and Square Enix are pretty good at that. Um, they usually try to get it, like, completely done and ready. So I'm really excited for that and I really want to give that a go. I'm trying to think what else but mainly like I think a lot of people are just waiting on s and seeing like if there's going to be a lot of main titles going to be announced so I think that's what we'll be waiting for. Again my, at the top of my list is Ghost of Tsushima 2 so oh and also Final Fantasy 7 I think it's Rebirth the next one's coming out um part two so I would really like to see that as well. I think that they said like it was coming out this year but I think they may have moved it which is totally okay um, but yeah, let's, I'm excited. So let's just jump into it and let's see what happens. I love how they just jumped into it, a news trailer. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Ryan. Hey Jim. President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment. I'm delighted to be here today to introduce what's next for PlayStation 5. We're now into the third year of the life cycle of PS5 and we've been fortunate to have so many fan favorite titles released on the platform. Mm. What's even more exciting is that developers are just scratching the surface of what's possible with the gaming experiences that they create. Today, you'll get a glimpse into some of the most breathtaking and imaginative content that will be coming to PS5 and PlayStation VR 2. And now, oh, cool. what you've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. Knowing you have only 66 days to live. Cool. Oh. Oh god, is it Silent Hills? No, it's not. <laughs> Never mind. I just saw grey and I was like, Silent Hill! Just run away. Oh wait, it's a. Ooh, hello! Oh 
Oh god, is it like an Elden Ring sort of game? Or Sekiro? Oh, this looks good! Oh lord. Ugh. Oh god, that looks like Pyramid Head. Ugh. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be like some sort of Elden Ring sort of secure vibe, isn't it? It's giving me that. It's very beautiful already. spray of red that comes off the sword. There are little details that just make it so much more fun. <laughs> Phantom Blade! What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. Get my heart back. Coming to PS5. That does look cool. As someone who's not very good at those games though, I would not play it, but I'll definitely watch someone play it. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> Does this have something to do with Journey? Because it looks very much like the graphics. Yes! I could see that art style anywhere. <gasps> oh, I'm definitely getting it. Already, hands down. <laughs> I love that. Let's call it you skateboard. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like I already know that's going to be an amazing game. Oh. So beautiful. Sword of the Sea. Yep, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Coming to PS5. Yeah, for sure. I love those games where it just like it basically just tells you a story through visuals, no dialogue whatsoever. So good. A new world awaits you. Oh. Full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders, things that I in my garden. Oh shit. Think of the world we could build if we believed in ourselves. If we truly believed in what it means to be sentient. Damn, a lot of again, like dystopian, like futuristic stuff. And I'm here for it. 
We don't get enough of it. Talos Principle. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, it's a showtime. Oh, Battle Royale. That's cute. Bubble bop. <laughs> oh, this looks like fun. Ah, oh, that's so such a cool idea. Especially because there's so many like multiplayer shooters, it's like multiplayer shooter, but make it bubble bop. <laughs> Well, but farm, sir. I like the idea. Ready for the phone star party? Yes, I am, definitely. Whoa! Phone stars. PS5, PS4. Nice! Is it out? Not actual gameplay. Yeah. Please, no spiders. Is it an ant? Okay, it's an ant. Okay, ants are fine. Still, they look very in detail. Can we be an Ant Man game? <laughs> oh, maybe not. Holy shit. Jesus, oh my god. Circle of life, alright? Jesus. Solid? No. Shit. Nice snake eater. Cool. I think a lot of people will be happy about that. Coming to PS5. I don't play the Metal Gear Solid games, but I was just like, wait, that looks like the character. <laughs> oh shit. Shit. The pride of Shimu. Oh, 
cute! I think I might be into this game. I'm very much into building games recently. So I'll definitely give this a crack. Oh my god, the visuals. Oh. <gasps> that, oh. That's sick. Towers of Agazba. Coming from G4. Nice. I'll definitely give that a crack. That looks so much fun. And so, such a big world building game. These people live with a knife to their throats. Ooh. The Assassin's Creed? Oh my. Oh no, it's a new Final Fantasy, never mind. Oh, this looks so good. Bosses. Every Final Fantasy game, you know you're gonna get some very cool creatures. Oh! for that. Fate will fall. June 22nd. Oh, that's so close! Nice. <laughs> ah, here we go, Assassin's Creed. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Oh! I've never played an Assassin's Creed game before. You have died and been reborn. They do look cool though. Ooh. Oh! Those graphics. Oh. Quiet. Find us 
stillness. And let's go. Shit! Nice! Yeah, these games are so beautiful. The thing is that I'm not sure if like I need to play the games, every game, to know like the like the story. So that's why I need to ask someone who actually has played them before. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Mara oh shit! October twelfth. God, what is this? Ooh, bungee. Oh, that looks cool. Very creepy. Marathon. Damn, that looks very scary for some reason. Oh, just nature. I don't even know where to begin. Mm. Hello. You've missed so much. Vanquish nightmares. Yeah, I was playing, playing this last night. Fought alongside those who we once fought against. I wish you could have been there. Is that Kate? Yeah, me too, kiddo. But hey, I'm here now. Final shape, tune in 8 to 22. What? I need to talk to the boys about that. Oh my god. Oh. Is he coming back? That'll be sick. Thank you for joining us today. Before we get into our final game, mm -hmm. I have a few announcements to share. At PlayStation, innovation is our passion. And that applies to not just what games you play, but how you play them. Later this year, we will launch a dedicated device that enables you to stream any game from your PS5 console using remote play or the Wi-Fi. Totally known as Project Q, it has an 8-inch HD screen and all of the buttons and features of the DualSense wireless controller. Shit, nice. We look forward to sharing more information in the near future. I'm also pleased to reveal our first ever PlayStation earbuds. Which will bring next oh, generation shit. audio immersion to PS5 and PC. They simultaneously connect to smartphones via Bluetooth. New wireless technology will deliver lossless audio with low latency, giving you outstanding sound quality while you're playing. Look out for more details soon. We hope today's showcase demonstrates our continued commitment to delivering experiences that surprise and delight our players. I want to thank all of you for your unwavering support for PlayStation. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, this is in Spider-Man. You grow 
slow in your old age, Sergei. Oh, Wolverine? <laughs> A fate you will not share. <laughs> oh. oh no, it is Spider-Man! Craven! I have been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> The music sounds familiar too. I'm pretty sure that's the music that played for the first Spider-Man trailer we got. I asked for an equal. And this is what you find. Sir, perhaps a new hunting ground. <laughs> yeah. Shit, this is Spider-Man? Holy fuck, dude. Light the fires. The great hunt begins. God, dude, look at the updated graphics. What the hell? Why does this look like even ten times Genji. better than what we got the, the first month? Must be sushi night. Crazy. You still got the hunter drone you hijacked? It's on the acro on another freaking level. My mom, but yeah, I'll boot up and see you there. Oh my god. They got here fast. Sneaky, sneaky. Can't let him find Connors. He's done for. Connors. Oh shit! Spray. Thank God. If you find them, because the, I wish fail at that so badly. Look at those fish. It's been feeding. Feeding. Never saw it coming. What's been feeding? That's the question. Oh, oh, oh. How's the hunt going? Watch out for his little power! <gasps> Judging by the three tons of dead fish! Not Shit. well! Alright. Where are you, Connors? Connors? Garage might lead to him. <laughs> I cannot wait. I've got chills. Connors tore through this place. He 
He's out of control. This is blowing up. Is the actual lizard? It's just his skin. Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Mm-hmm. Shedding skin. I'm hungrier too. Whoa. Peter. Hey, man. New threats? The building's swarming with hunters. Any sign of Connors? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yankee's tracking him. But the date is incomplete. Okay, I think I got a lock. Vicky, wait, be chill. That wasn't me. Me neither. I don't even have a stomach, so. Let's go. Go, go, go. Take him alive. Oh shit! There you go! Oh my Can't lose Connors. Harry's dying, and he's the only one who can help. We won't. You take the drones, I got the jet skis. Oh, if I borrow this? This is really, really exciting. Yes, it is man. very exciting. Watch out for those drones. Don't worry. They think I'm a friend. Oh, dude, the quality. Oh! Oh, the music is loud! Take him out! Oh, there he is! The East River is not a river, but in fact a saltwater tidal flat that Spider-Man is fighting on right now! Everybody get out! Help the tour boat! Frank, I've got the metal murder bird! I warned you about going after Connors. Now this is on you. Uh oh. He is not okay. Poison clouds. Is that all you've got? Almost done here. Civilians are all safe. How you looking? This gunship won't quit. I'm right behind you. We'll take it down together. No time. Oh. I got you. Time to go boom, boys! Oh, no, no, no! Spider-Man has got... ...defenses! Oh my god! Spider-Man! Hang on! Oh my god! Miles! Over there! Go over to Kendrick! Move, move, move! Oh, shit! Oh! Food. 
Oh god! Get, get him! Hold on! Look out! Everyone, take cover! What are you guys doing? Trying to take out that gunship! Can't get close enough! But I can! And one of them, remember? Bro, that's it! Pete! Alley you on three! Hi! One, two, three! Pete is not okay. Which I love. <laughs> we wanted him on stage, but this is what we get. He got away from us. It's good, Pete. I saved the tracker. Oh my god, you look at the way oh my god, the skin! No. He's mine. You sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. <laughs> no, he's not normally like that, right? No. No. He's never like that. Shit! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. Be greater together. Fall 2023. Oh, we don't have a date yet. Okay, that's all right. Oh, I am so satisfied. That was so good. Okay, I think that does bring us to the end of the presentation from the looks of it. I will say that um, I did enjoy it. I do like the new titles that they do have coming for us because I think I was just having a look at Twitter halfway through and a lot of people are like, oh my God, like, they're not, like, showing, like, the big AAA titles and stuff. And it's like, well, a lot of them are being, like, new original IP. So, you guys always complain about not original stuff. So, it's like, come on, guys. Take it with a grain of salt if you're gonna, you know, ask for original stuff. So, I'm actually really satisfied. I really like the content that we got. A lot of the new titles look very interesting to me. And I'm, yeah, I'm super excited for this. Obviously, the main one that stood out for me, obviously, was Spider-Man. So let's discuss. Um, Spider-Man, dude, I am so excited for this game. It's going to be amazing. And from the look of it, Insomniac have been freaking cooking. So, like, they worked so hard. And already, like, you can see even just the difference between Miles Morales and this. Like, there's so much improvement already, like, on the graphics and just everything. Oh, it's so good. And already, like we're seeing like Yuri Lowenthal playing Peter so unstable he's not okay and I love it that is what I'm here for I'm here for that sort of content <laughs> and then yeah just seeing him in the Venom suit I love their rendition of it because that's what I was saying like when looking at like when there was close-ups of it it was so beautiful because or like freakish in a way because you could see like it almost is like ingrown into his own skin so it's like gnarly um and then obviously you have the sleek like fa the facial mask and then you've got the body and suit that looks like armor which is something i like and then the gameplay was so good so smooth um very different like hud from what we had from the original spider-man but still i like the new like look of it and then the switch, how you can immediately switch to play Miles is so good because obviously like otherwise you have to wait for like the black screen and then it switches and then you then you'd get the like the dialogue of like Peter or like Peter saying like Miles go and check this out da 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 you know instead they're actually like just you can switch to the character and boom you're already on the next area like that's so very like smart and I love Insomniac for that just because Insomniac are absolute wizards. And again, like, with Miles, like, swinging through the city in that part, and obviously he has, like, the flying wing suit, that was really cool. But, like, when he's swinging, you can already see the improvement in the graphics and the lighting. It already looks so good. And just, yeah, and then we see, like, the very different fighting styles now that we have, and the introduction of, I think it's Lizard, I think that's his name, like, the character. Um, but Connors, that's why I was like, Connors, Connors, who is it? And then I was like, oh, wait, 
lizard because we did see him at the end of uh, Miles Morales in the, um, uh, I think it was like the post credits cut scene. And yeah, like I love this build up very, and this is what I like because I, I was asking for this. I wanted it to be like a little bit horror-esque, like very much like jump scares, like vibe sort of thing. So I hope we get a lot more jump scares, especially because Venom is in this um, game. It's because I've always seen Venom as like a horror, like character, like especially with Sam Raimi's take on him. Oh, I was so terrified of him. So that's why I really hope we get a lot more jump scares and just, you know, we're actually put on the edge of our seats and we're terrified. And I think like, that's the beautiful thing about Insomniac. They just, they, again, like they're absolute wizards and they're so dedicated to bringing like the best version of the game to the audience, which is why like obviously they're taking their time with it. And I love that they don't do so many teasers and trailers because I remember there's so many people being like, does this game even exist? We only got the one teaser and it's like, guys, just relax. Like Insomniac, I love because they hold back on their trailers, which is something I appreciate because Square Enix could learn a thing or two about that. But like some games, a lot of them are just heavily marketed, at, especially at the last minute um, or just like in the lead up to it. And I'm just like, no, just give us like one or two trailers and I'll be happy. Like just... You know, the same with God of War. I think God of War only had like, I think it was like one big trailer and then that was it. So, oh, and then they had this cinematic one, but you know, that's the usual. So not complaining there. So going back to the Spider-Man trailer, obviously we saw the introduction of Cra Cra Craven. I think that's how you say his name. Very cool design. I like it. It very much obviously is um, reminiscent to what he had in the comics. A little bit different in Insomniac style. So nothing, nothing wrong there. And then, yeah, just going back to it. I am so excited to see where Peter's story goes because obviously we're going to see the introduction of Venom and how that affects him and already Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal already on another level like just you can tell he's just putting like emotion and like that I don't know there's like some dark tone to his voice that just makes it so much more sinister as Peter because Peter I honestly love his version of Peter the most out of all renditions of Peter Parker and Spider-Man um and so that's why seeing him with this is like whoa it's so good and I cannot wait to get the full game just to see like how he changes from the Spider-Man that we know to obviously the one that we do see in this one and maybe perhaps even worse towards the end of the game Oh. I'm also going to talk about Destiny 2 because as someone who just joined the franchise, I will say I have been playing through all the like DLCs or like the, the story parts. Um, I finally bought all of them. So I've, I'm playing through all of them. I'm up to Lightfall and I'll release my reaction to the stories like once I edit them because I am obsessed with Destiny 2 now. It's so good. <laughs> and like, thank you to Michael, Kat and Mitch, all of them who recommended me this game for the past like five years of my life and I, I never played it until this year and I regret it because it's one of the best games I've ever played. But anyway, going back to it, I know how much of a significance Cade is to the story. So for him to be back, I am actually really shocked because even that's actually really funny because me and Michael were actually talking about it. I think a couple of weeks ago, because I was like, I always like message him and be like, you know, oh, I got up to like Witch Queen and da 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 da, like the story. And then, yeah, we were, I, we were talking about Kate and I was like, oh, you know, like, especially because rest in peace to Lance Riddick. But like, I was thinking like, in terms of Zavala, like, will they try and do something with his character in terms of like Cade passing away, obviously, and dying? Um, and then will they do something with Zavala? But we were talking about that. And then I said, like, oh, do you reckon Cade will ever come back? Like, because of, you know, the whole ghost stuff. And even though his ghost was killed, I think, in that story part when he died. So I was wondering, like, would he come back? And Michael's like, no, I don't think so. Just because, like, I think it would, like, not ruin the projection of the story. But just, like, I think, like, they have to do it in a way that makes it work. So it's like, yeah, probably wouldn't work. But... <laughs> I am so excited already. Like, we just got the new season, like, literally yesterday, and I started playing it again, and now we've already been teased for the next one. Like, you smart geniuses, <laughs> they knew this. They knew this was going to happen. Like, oh, uh, of course. Um, I'll just re read out a couple of titles that I am excited for, because there was a few that caught my eye. Um, I'll just have a look. Phantom Blade, again, probably not going to play it, but... It looks very impressive with the game style that they have. Shh. 
Don't, so, don't make a noise. Um, but yeah, Phantom Blade looks beautiful. And again, like that art style, like Japanese, like like that sort of influence. I love that. I am, I will say, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't see any Ghost of Tsushima, but I'm praying that we get a second one because it's like, so much potential. Please, suck a bunch. Please, for the love of God. I would love to see it. And of course, um, the new um, game that was made by the studio that made Journey. Let me get this. The Sword of the Sea. I literally, whenever that's released, I'm going to play it like first up because their games are so good. And yeah, the Talos Principle, it has a two in it. So I'm not sure if it's like a, a prologue or something. Yeah, what past is prologue? I think it's a, I, I don't know. I think it's a second game or something because there's a two in it. So I want to try and find out more about that because that looked on another level like beautiful. So I will definitely check that out. And there was another one where it was that building game. I'm really interested. Obviously Final Fantasy as well. I think it's Final Fantasy 16. I am psyched for that. That's gonna be amazing, of course. I'm definitely gonna play that. Oh yeah, Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. I'm not too excited about I just know that there's a massive fandom for that. And it's super cool. Like every time I see a fandom get excited for something that they've been waiting for, it's like, hell yeah. Oh yeah, Towers of Agazba. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But that looks amazing and especially with the buildings like those sides like that type of like architecture like fancy like i love that and it almost gives cottage core vibes so i'm like yes because minecraft you can only go so much and like i've been making as people if people watch like my streams for minecraft i'm making like a fantasy kingdom so this would save me so much time <laughs> than going block by block and making it this would save me so much time so i will definitely get that game <laughs> I, and for the other ones, I'm super excited to see, like, how they develop and um, maybe, like, just see, like, someone else play it before I actually play it myself. Um, but it is incredible to see the amount of games that have been already made, like, for this showcase and is going to be released in the next couple of months. It's very impressive. I know that a lot of people are just going to be like, yeah, but they didn't release any, like, GTA 6 or, like, this and that. And it's like, dude... Like, those are, like, years away. And even, like, even with Wolverine, I was like, mm, not sure if we'll even get that. Because they said, I think that's released for 2025. And then I said that the Spider-Man project was Wolverine. But then I was like, you know, could have been. But, oh, again, that Spider-Man content, beautiful. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts as well, guys. Like, what you're excited for. Again, I'm super stoked for all the games that they've released. I know, again... Like, going on Twitter, it makes me annoyed because everyone's like, oh my god, like, why are we getting this? This is so subpar. Like, they're, they've they been, like, obviously advertising for the show. It's like, dude, they're not going to just show the AAA games because if that was what we were on, we would not get the showcases every year. We would get them every three years. And it's like, do you really... What would you prefer? Every year or every three years? So, so I am excited for all the games. Oh, yeah. The other one, Assassin's Creed. That's another one that I need to check with people um, who have played it to see if I need to play the previous ones because they look so good, but I'm just like, are the stories connected? Do I need to like know the lore or anything? So, I mean, if people have played it and want to put it in the comments, go ahead. But like, again, like I'm just like, what do I do? So again, I'll have to do my research for that one. But yeah, I'm super stoked for those games that I mentioned. I'm super excited. Definitely going to get my hands on it. I think a lot of people were saying they also wanted Last of Us 3. I would be super excited, but also I want to see Naughty Dog do another game. As much as I love Last of Us, I would love to see a new IP from them just because they're so talented. So I would love to see something different from them. But soon, soon, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Leave your thoughts below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on the showcase. What games you're excited for. I am, again, super excited for the games that we got in this one. And yeah, super, super stoked. Uh, I will be starting to stream again soon, so keep an eye out for that. I do want to start streaming, um, what is it? Jedi Fallen Order, because I want to play Jedi Survivor <laughs> eventually. Um, and I've never played Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, sorry, uh, Michael actually used to play it, like, um, what's it called? share play for me because I couldn't afford the game back in the day five years ago when it came out and he was kind enough to oh was it five years ago four years ago I think but anyway whenever he was playing it it was like he I couldn't afford it so he just share played and he'd play like for me and I'd be watching him and so it was a nice experience but I do want to play it myself before I play Jedi Survivor so and I've heard good things about both so 
I'm gonna give it a go and see how I go. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Major out. Woo!